All right, guys, so welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. I think we can all agree that so far, this game has been absolutely incredible and so much fun. And so with that said, I wanted to give a big thank you to Warner Brothers Games for sponsoring this video. In Hogwarts Legacy, you get to experience life as a fifth year student, which is of course self-created by you at the School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Of course, Hogwarts. Within your time at Hogwarts, you'll get to experience and live the unwritten as well as embark on a very dangerous journey to uncover the hidden truth of the wizarding worlds of the 1800s. Hogwarts Legacy introduces a new original story that will put you, the player, at the center of your very own wizarding adventure. This game is developed by Avalanche Software and published by Warner Brothers Games under the Portkey Games label. As you may know by now, Hogwarts Legacy is now available for PlayStation 5, the Xbox Series X and S, and PC. If you guys want to look into Hogwarts Legacy for yourselves, I'll have a link down in the description. So a brand new day begins for us here at Hogwarts. And I'm pretty pumped for this video because we have got... We've got a pretty good amount of things to accomplish before we continue on with this story. And uh, I don't know about you guys, but I'm really... I'm really liking this hat we've got on. Very uncharacteristic of like what we're kind of used to seeing, but I like it. Like I really, really like it. I'll probably have it on for the entire episode unless we get something cooler, which so far we've been doing every single time we play. But uh, we have a decent amount of quests here. We, we have two main quests and then we've got some side things we got to do. Um, and I have a feeling that this game is about to start opening up. I, I feel like since the last episode, we saw the world map finally. I feel like we're really close to finally unlocking the broomstick and learning how to fly it and whatnot. And I think that's going to be really cool once we get to do that. But uh, before we begin anything, I really want to finish the cross wands round three because we're supposed to get uh, a reward. As you can see there, when you play this game, the more side quests you do, it's said that it's supposed to affect your... Rebellion. It's supposed to affect main quests and stuff like that. So as long as these videos keep doing well, then we'll we'll do as much as we I possibly can. But right now, can I open this? Oh. Oh, I didn't know that was just open like that. Oh, dude. <laughs> what do <are> we? <laughs> Can I flush the toilet? Yes, we can. All right, I'm not gonna be spending my morning flushing, to flushing toilets here. Feels good to be back. Very soon we'll be flying across the horizon and exploring God knows what. Here it is. So. I like to practice with the training dummy and the final round, a round, excuse me, of crossed wands. Hello, Lucan. Is the final round of crossed wands ready? Big match today. It all comes down to this. The moment that we find out if your training and dedication is enough to win it all. Ready for a shot at glory? I think I said Lucas. Lucan. I'm really sorry about that. I certainly am. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? Hmm. Let's... Last time we did it with... With the... Oh, yeah, let's go Sebastian. This time around. Yes, Sebastian. Then let's get started. He actually had our back over at the library, which I was expecting for We can make Nazi. this a real victory. That's the spirit. Championship round a 2v3. Okay, so break through red shields with damage spells like the fire making spell incendio. Okay, cool. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, you can do like a perfect dodge as well. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is getting a little harder. Um, or we can do this and then hit him with the throw. This guy should be also stronger. 
Okay. I was not expecting this. Incendio. Oh my god. Stupid. Don't better than that. I'm gonna deflect all my attacks at Eric Northcott. Okay, well, I thought. I don't know what just happened. There. I thought I parried it in time, but I didn't. Alright, come on, Sebastian. It's okay. We had a little bit of a setback. Let me heal. Oh no, I pressed the wrong spell. Potato. Hold on. Come on, come on, come on. Deflect the back at you. Put her here. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, it is a little trickier this time. I mean, I just started playing, clearly. I mispressed the button. But, yeah, mixing these up is, is pretty awesome. I could have done, I should have done better than that. That was pretty intense. Oh my god. What a victory! You've won the tournament! That was nothing. I'm just getting started. If the best duelists in the school weren't enough competition, then perhaps you should consider transferring to Durmstrang. Now, to the victor goes the prize! And so it is my great honor to present you with this simple yet elegant token of supreme dueling accomplishment! I don't know that I deserve that. Um, no, man. Thank you. It's been an honor. You earned it. You are a duelist to be reckoned with. Now that we've definitively crowned the tournament winner, I suppose I should get back to my schoolwork. Wonder how my herbology plants are doing. I haven't tended them in ages. Speaking of, we got to take a class. Hey, what was that? If I go to the robe and I take it off as an appearance, this is what we just unlocked, the inner outfit. So. Wow. Hey, these are clean. Look at this. All right, so we have, uh, we've got these, which are really nice themselves. But then we have this. This is so cool, dude. <laughs> what I like is that you don't technically have to be rocking out with the robe the entire time you know like look at this how elegant this looks so cool we just unlocked this one that is pretty sweet considering we're already here let's finish the last and final quest we've got with luke and brad will be here and then we'll Hello, go Lucan. i'd like to practice with the training dummy we'll go on Excellent about idea this time will be a bit more of a challenge ready yes that'd be brilliant wonderful i'll set things up Remember to cast all the spell combinations before the dummy lands again. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. This is going to be interesting. Okay, so... Accio. Incendio. Ooh. Wow, we're going heavy with these Excellent spells now. Four. Okay, now what? Here. Incendium. Nice. That's it. It's not that bad. Alright, so we've got Akio. Incendium. Leviosa. What? Akio. No, I ran out. Next time. Are you kidding me? Alright, hold on. Let me wait for this one to fill up. Come here. You went a little bit too far. Incendio. There we go. Good one. That's pretty crazy. Impressive wand work. I'd hate to face you in a duel. 
I wonder if that's gonna be like the ultimate test. Thanks, Lucan. You've been a great help. Oh, stop. Don't make me blush. <laughs> Seriously, well done. Training dummies will think twice before challenging you again. Even though you won the tournament already, I'm glad to see you haven't stopped training. Stay sharp, my friend. I like little Mr. Brattleby. Spell combination practice too. Interesting. Oh, it's a little... It's raining a bit, huh? A little drizzle. Hmm. Lumos. Oh, it's not that dark. This is what we were doing that last quest. Yeah, that we went, uh... All incognito. Yeah. I remember this. Revelio. Thought there was a page there for some reason. Oh, yeah, we were here. I remember being here. Not not in the playthrough, but when I went to go play it early at the uh, WB event. I was actually able to explore this a little bit. Handy. Very nice. Anything on the other side? I don't believe so. Yeah, this is where class starts, I suppose. Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora, dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, a little treat for your auntie. Oh, hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. Literally. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacula than the bouncing bowl. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Akio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. <laughs> now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> That is so insane. The soil should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repair well, That's convenient. I said it last time. I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone! Now for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our dressing tables. You can all get started. I need to have a brief word with our new student. Really? Is that so? I feel like I'm always the special one. Obviously, we're the main protagonist, but I find it mm. quite funny. I wonder if hippogriffs like mock grass. Let's talk to Professor Garlic. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. I'll say. Nearly went deaf. Well, yes. Of course, the cry of a mature mandragora can be fatal. So remember to keep those ears protected. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the magic neep. 
Wonderful! A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. All right, cool. Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Mifflers fancy or roses? So we'll go Dishley's here. These restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Pardon me, Professor. What am I supposed to do with the Disney seeds? Your part in all this floral alchemy is simple. Take the seeds to your potting table, plant them, and then wait for harvest time. All right, here we go. Small planter. So, we got the seeds here. Uh, the leaves of this uh, medicinal herb are used in the Wiganweld potion. Okay, we can only choose this one? Yes. So, grill time is 10 minutes. And it's a small plant size. Sweet. Okay, so... Disney seeds can be purchased at the Magic Neap and can be grown in pots of it. That's so cool, man. You just leave them here doing their thing as they grow. That's awesome. Well done! Once it can be harvested, your Disney will be ready to use in Wiganweld Potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now! What say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Okay, who's coming with me? Okay. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there. But your lead. All right, Mr. Leander. Let's go. Nice. I've nice seen him work before. In defense against the dark arts, by the way. Thanks. Excuse me. Your duel with Sebastian, and he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good, but you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. <laughs> oh. Well. Thank you. I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. Here we are, home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. I'll take this. Go on, grab a few of those cabbages. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. All right, let me grab some more. All right, so hold L1 and tap. Oh my God, here it is. Sweet. You see, confirmed, we do not have the broomstick or any sort of, okay, that's perfect. So this is the cabbage. All right, so then tap L1 to use your assigned tool. There you go. Look at that. Yeah. They'll chomp on anything they can get their uh, mouths on. Wow. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but, well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. That's actually really true. Very helpful. Extra firepower, right? Mm. I suppose they could come in handy. Trust me, Leander. I was imagining it the entire time. You were? I mean, of course. You're uh, not someone to be trifled with. I see that. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants, too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. I like this guy. He's nice. Okay. Back to class we go. Let's get out of here. Don't want to be tardy. 
put myself in detention. Did I just go higher? I think I went even higher. I don't know what I just did. That's fine. I'll grab this here. Never mind. I can't. I thought that was... Forget about it. I'll grab these instead. Mellow Sweet Leaves. And with that helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves, I shall end our lesson here. Terribly sorry, Mr. Clock. Look, it's growing! Inspect. You can add fertilizer to this plant to increase its yield. You can create fertilizer by conjuring a dung compound. Oh, cool. Maybe we'll learn that later on. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Alright, well that was easy. I wish every class was like that. Maybe auras or someone from the ministry guarding the school after the incident. Professor Black would never. All right, guys, we're here. Potion class, new quest. Let's go. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a wig and weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. Oh my god. Alright, let's keep stirring it. <laughs> I'm glad they at least make us do it. That just, you know. Have a little cutscene or whatnot. Something simple, but it's better than nothing. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing. And we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Okay. Let's My go right over here. Do have anything else here that I can acquire? Maybe a little chest or... Ooh, maybe some of it. One? Okay, no, well, that wasn't a whole lot. Should you chop the ditney or crush it? The wrong answer could result in the unfortunate loss of your eyebrow. Oh, well. That's not good. All right, let's go over here. 
Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? Uh, you heard that correctly. Why do you want to know? Yes, but why does that matter to you? Brilliant! And it matters because you can be a part of something truly creative. You remember me, don't you? Gareth Weasley. Ah, yes. We met in the common room. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adjurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Fwooper Feather. As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. Hmm, I'm not sure that's a good idea. Uh, you know what, let's be a little risky. Let's do it. I'll get you the Fwooper Feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fwooper Feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Dude, we're gonna get in trouble for this. We're already doing really dumb decisions here. Not, not very smart. Okay. We got the fur. Oh, we've got the eggs. Rebellion. And there's just one more. The feather. All right. I mean, he's got a couple, right? I'm just not gonna. Like, I'm not gonna. He's got three of them. Okay. Well, that. Yeah, that looks pretty rare. I don't know. I think this man just lied to me. Oh, God. Memorandum. Organ and Burks has had an increased amount of activity outside of the ordinary shop hours, or particularly in the wee hours of the night, with suspicious deliveries being made to the shop's back entrance. Given that we know of the shop's reputation, we are adding more... Uh, our hours to join those that we have already been watching to join those that have already been watching the shop you're amongst the new additions further instructions to follow okay potion stations organized and free of clutter here's the fwapa feather you wanted brilliant thank you this is going to take a moment to brew you should get back to brewing your Adjurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Uh-oh. Alright, so we're gonna brew our potion, we're gonna Proficiency mine our own business. Two things that cannot be rushed. We're also getting stations and unlocked. And be thorough. So this is good. I was really close to buying a couple of these back when we were in Hogsmeade, but... Thankfully, we didn't. So, this en enhances our defense by covering us with a durable rocky skin. Go ahead and brew this. Brewing time is 30 seconds. Okay. That shouldn't take too long. So, do I have to stay and there? Can I just back away? Sweet. And that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! I knew it. Bro, I knew it. Again. I knew oh. it! Now. Dragon Dung! What happened? Dragon Dung! Well done, Gareth. Oh my god. Probably smells what really now, bad in here. Mr. Weasley. Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor. Again. Oh my god. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will oh, answer shit. to me as well. That's just incredible. I knew that was bad. I just didn't want to be like a party pooper, you know? So I, I gave it a shot. Didn't work out. I brewed an Adurus potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. Mm. Sorry about that. Let's be honest. We got caught. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. 
in addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. Sweet. Potions class. And we are now level 10. All right, pretty cool. So, dude, what happened? Are you going to tell me what you're trying to brew here? That was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. I heard him talking about taking responsibility. Professor Sharp wasn't happy. Leave me out of your grand plans next time. Sorry to hear that. Hopefully he's already forgotten about it. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. <laughs> Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise. Fewer explosions. Dude, I just told you, keep me off your business. I don't want to deal with people like you. You are you, you're oh, trouble. My robes are going to reek from them. Revelio. Accio. Oh, that's right. This is the, the little keys we got to follow. Let's see, where is this going? Hmm, right over here, you say? As soon as it moves, it's going. Yes! Well, that was much faster than the last time. We got another one of these. Remember, it was like 16 tokens or something in total. So, it's good to know that we've got another one to the collection. All right, let's go here to the quest tab. I think now we head over. Yes. Meet Nati in the lower Hogs field. Oh, this is going to be good. This is going to be really good. Can you please teach me how to ride a broomstick? I want my broomstick, damn it. It's crazy. Like, that shows you how long this game might possibly be. Um, when I asked the devs, um, they were... They didn't give me a for sure answer because it's so subjective, right? Depends how you play, how much you do, how much you don't do. Um, but we're currently a few hours into the game and we still are kind of just getting introduced to everything. So that goes to show you how big this game might just be, you know? We haven't even learned how to fly yet. Hours into the story. That's pretty crazy. I did not expect that. I thought we were going to be flying right off the bat. But I was wrong. Rebellion. I will take this. Broken broom. Flattened armor. Long to sir. Okay. we got here got a chest down below if it's full free it's full me all right let's get out of here all right i'm starting to think this is it i'm starting i think we're about to learn i see people with broomsticks oh man i'm dying to fly i'm i'm, I'm really dying to fly here look at this how beautiful my goodness gracious this is incredible <laughs> This is so cool. Gosh. What do we have here? Rebellion. Any secret down there? I mean, there are hidden caves and stuff that you can explore if you find them around the lower sections of this castle. Which is really interesting. Man, look what, bro. Like, my goodness. This is so beautiful. Wow. 
this is like screenshot worthy here. This is so dope. Let me grab some of these. I know we grabbed some uh, last time. Akia. Did a little mission with them. But we'll go ahead and grab some more Moonstone. Akio. So I don't have to do uh, Accio. I can just hit them off and then they'll automatically go in my inventory. Is that what it is? Hmm. So right here, we are getting a, a better understanding Rebellious. of... We are, in fact, getting a better understanding of how complex this can be. I mean, you can you can kind of get... I don't know. This, there's a lot going on around the castle. I know that was one of the biggest concerns for, for all of us, really. But I think we are in good hands. I think everything's panning out how we hoped. A lot of exploring possibilities. And when I get that broomstick, boy, I'm going to be flying out of here. I'm telling you right now, I'm going to be flying. I'm going to be flying all over the place. Hmm. Damn, I didn't even know we had that fast travel point here. This is the big... Really? Did I really come over here? I could have just gone through that bridge. I could have fast traveled. Yeah, we're, we're about to learn how to fly. There is absolutely no way we don't get our broomstick. We need our broomstick. Whoa. Okay, hold on. Revelio. Oh, that's just a sheep. But there was something hidden in the grass. Oh, hold on. It's in here. Yes, it's open. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, too. Groundskeeper's tools. Seven out of fifteen. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Very dangerous. And there's a cave down there, by the way. I just saw that on the mini map. It's just quite risky and also kind of exciting. <sighs> It is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Natty. How are you? I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip to Hogsmeade. I am well, but I have been worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm all right at the moment. We did not speak about it at the time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. Let me just tell her. They want something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before we came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A port key brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. Is that the magic you used fighting the trolls in Hogsmeade? I think so. I'm still learning, but... I can see traces of it, and I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. And I will have more questions. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that troll. And Serona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. And the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. 
Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, mm. but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Very cool. Be on your guard. Rebellion. Not here, right? We're good here. I beg your pardon. How dare you threaten me? What's going on here? You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented Whoa. blue powder. Hold on, can I go inside these little... Archie, I don't have time to argue. I've told you repeatedly not to stray far from home. Especially when I'm inside with your little sister. But you should see the mummy. Ooh, your gear have slots are full. You can suck his gear at vendors. With wings. I might have to go back to Hogsmeade and sell some stuff, man. I think I'm gonna have to do that because or hold on. Now, why don't you do some more drawings for me? Hmm? Oh, look at the shell for the wand. That's awesome. Hello, sir. What do you sell here? Hello, I'm Jalal Semi, and this is my potion shop. I can answer any questions you have about the town. Mm. So. Any whispers going about the town? There's a thief on the loose by the name of Katrin Haggerty. She's an ashwinder. She's stealing everything that's not nailed down, and people have had enough. Katrin's hiding in a camp just southwest of town. Can you tell me a bit about yourself? Oh, let's see. Well, I am Lower Hogsfield's preeminent potioneer. And I was once a lowly Hogwarts student like you. In fact, I'll give you the Hogwarts discount. <laughs> yeah, it's the standard price. My prices are low enough already, you see. <laughs> what do you have for sale? I sell only potions and their ingredients. If you can't fix it with a potion, then it's best left broken, I say. <laughs> my ingredients are all local to this area, and my potions are brewed to keep you healthy and safe. All right, so let's see. What do you have for sale? I want to see if I can sell what here, can too. What can I help you with today? Yes, I could sell. So we could sell stuff. Um, he's got these potions. He's also got ingredients. Um, I can sell these. I don't know what to sell. I'm gonna sell. I'm never gonna wear this. I'll have no trouble selling this. Thank you. I'll sell this as well. Honestly, I'm also not gonna wear the Bane mask. Probably not my style. Five and zero. I think they're the same thing. There we go. I hope to see you again sometime. Thanks, dude. Really appreciate it. We also have a wand handle, which is really nice. A little gray one. This one's cool, too. But again, this just matches the entire outfit, which is what I'm kind of going for. Okay. Um Rebellio. Let's see if we can fire some of these said. other chests. If now we're gonna have to go somewhere else and just sell our stuff. Oh, there it is. Very nice. Now we can start seeing what we're acquiring. Oh. Rebellio. Man, I'm literally just coming inside their homes and stealing all their stuff. I feel terrible. I feel really terrible about this, but hey, you know what? Thankfully, you guys will be all right, I promise. Hmm. Pardon me, is everything all right? Hardly. I've just lost my business and almost my life. You'd best look elsewhere for wares. I've nothing to sell now. I never thought it'd come to this. Be on your guard. Ramrock and his loyalists will spare no one. They attacked you. Oh, Ranrock has no patience for goblins who won't join him. 
While I too would like to see goblin kind treated by wizards as equals, bloodshed is not the answer. When I said as much, they turned on me, struck me till I nearly passed out, took my carts, my belongings, even that which is most precious to me, my paintings. Has Ranrock's lot ever attacked you like this before? Oh, they've been taunting and threatening me for a while now. But they've always believed that violence is the only way to get what they want. Things have taken a much darker turn of late. Ramrock is getting more powerful and his loyalists know it. They feel untouchable. Ramrock assumed that all goblins would agree to follow him. But he was wrong. Many of us would like a diplomatic end to the discord with wizard kind. You mentioned that your paintings were taken. Are you a painter? I am. It's my calling, though most would think it an unusual path for a goblin. Most of my family work in metal or associated with Gringotts. I'd wager my finest brush that Ramrock's lot have no appreciation for any of my work and it will be tossed aside for kindling. Without my carts and my livelihood, who knows when I'll be able to paint again. All right, Marshal, keep an eye out. I'm sorry this happened to you. I shall certainly keep an eye out for your cards. That is very kind of you, but I think they took them to their camp southwest of here, just past some ruins. Too dangerous to try and retrieve them. I did enchant the carts to return to me if I ever lost them, however. Slim though the chances may be, I'm holding out hope that some of what was taken is returned to me. I feel bad. It was for nice him. meeting you. I wish it had been under better circumstances. Revelio. All right, so that's a little side quest we've just begun. All right, so the side quest is over there. I, I will tackle that clearly, but I gotta. I don't want to lose track of where I was going. So let's trials of Merlin. This is where we're supposed to go, right? Yes, yeah, so a woman needs help. This is exactly the quest where we were aiming aiming for we also did just uncover new neckwear which for some reason it's locked level 11 whoa that's that's interesting we also have this one oh my god nice superb that was really nice all right we're gonna keep that one for the stats of course but i am gonna go with this because i'm really liking this little blue Contrast is looking mighty nice. And we've got a purple extraordinary. There is so much. Oh, what? Okay, I might keep this for a little bit. Yeah, okay, now we're looking completely different. Huh? <laughs> this is wild, dude. Yeah, all right, let's go. All right, that's cool. Let's let's be a little different for a while. We'll, we'll come back to the robes and stuff like that, but well, we could be a little bit different. to that goblin banker at Gringotts, I shouldn't be surprised at what happened. They must have come this way. Think! Hello? You guys okay? I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do <gasps> not have time to... Victor Rookwood don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student! You can't be sick! <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupefied! Yeah, stupefied. You're a great crowd. Oh, you just back to Hogwarts! Oh, you guys have no idea. You have no idea who you've messed with. Ugh. Wow, I feel pretty strong right now. What is that? Oh, watch the light go out of your eyes. Ooh, I'm so scared. I'm shaking in my boots. So the collection section of your field guide has been updated with a new enemy type. You may learn valuable insights on enemies such as their weaknesses on uh, to certain spells. All right, so remember, I have a... Uh... Oh, I turned up again. Let's go! No, no. <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious. No shot, dude. That man turned into a chicken. Who 
What on earth just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. Been so close to Hogwarts. You guys ever heard that that joke? Uh, Why did the chicken cross the road? I heard it recently, and uh, the answer is because. Like because, but because no. Okay. I found it very funny personally, but maybe you didn't. Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You mentioned someone named Priya? Yes, my wife. She's the one who piqued my interest in Merlin, gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical hard-working Hufflepuff, brilliant potioner, has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. She's a travelling vendor. Here's what's going on in the Highlands before I do. Okay, research. How interesting. You're a researcher? Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. I thought that Merlin and the tales about King Arthur's court were a myth. Mere myth? <laughs> You're lucky Sir Cadogan didn't hear you. Chatters on endlessly about his connection to Merlin from his portrait at Hogwarts. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the centre. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the centre of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honours? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent. Revelio. Anything else you got here? This trunk. Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the Mallow Suite. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the Mallow Suite on the swell, and we'll see what happens. Okay. Sure. Let's do it. Did you see that? The vines disappeared. What should I do now? Hmm, this is Incendio. on Balin's beard. The flames Burning make obvious. the pile sink. Ah. That was not bad. Nice. What a day. I can hardly believe it. Bro, like I was I was thinking this entire time about like, you know, robes and just playing as a stupid like now that we've seen like all the possibilities as far as outfits go, man, like you can make your character look so cool, man. This is This is awesome. I take it we can call that a success. We can 
indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swell on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require mallow suit, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. And do be careful out here. Now I've got what I needed, I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. The Trials of Merlin. Look at that. Whoa. Well, goodbye now. Nice talking to you. So do we have any main quest now here active for us? Oh my gosh, this is insane. Sir Nicholas, our house ghost, is looking for you. You can find him near the Great Hall. Endless Nick. All right, let's speak to this. Speak to this student here. Might I beseech you for some assistance? Hello, can I help you? Oh, thank goodness. Yes, my name is Grace Pinch Smedley. Of the Bath Pinch Smedleys? I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see, I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? Diving into the lake sounds like an adventure. Tell me more. Splendid. Precisely the response I'd hoped for. What do you need help retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. You seem to think I might have heard of the Bath Pinch Smedleys. Why would I know your family? That's like asking why the sky is blue or grass is <laughs> green. The Pinch Smedley name is synonymous with intellectual curiosity. We are known for our contributions to science and art. I'm surprised you haven't heard of us, frankly. But with all I plan to discover about the world around us, those that don't yet know the name certainly one day will. What exactly is an astrolabe? It's an astonishing ancient navigational tool. Essentially, a handheld model of the universe. Well, wow. It's mainly used for studying the stars, astronomical pursuits, but it has nearly a thousand uses. Fascinating device. Sadly, I'd imagine it's rusted beyond repair now. Still, we'd love to have it returned to us. It would be like getting a bit of my grandparents back. Hmm, it sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand, but I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. I do hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. Go ahead and... What is this? Ooh, a plump juice. Revelio. Revelio. <laughs> Oh. Incendio. Incendio. Accio. Oh. 
Won't you look at this? Let's Lumos. go. Oh man, hell yeah. Just want to jump in here real quickly, guys, and say this video is sponsored by WB Games. And I keep looking so nice. Clearly, the stats statistically is not as, as, as good as ours, but I mean, I can go here now, right? For example, if I really want to get jiggy with it, and just because we have it, it's a cape. Bro, that's hilarious. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh my God. Now I look like, I don't, I don't know what I look like anymore. I just look like, you know, that funny five-year-old that walks around with a cable on his neck thinking he's a superhero yeah that's that's what i feel like right Rebellion. now hmm. all right so we're gonna go for it all right we're here already let's just go let's swim i know we could swim i just had no idea we could dive Can we really dive? I don't... This is a pretty long swim. I don't know if we should be doing all this. Oh boy. Still got the book in my hand. Look at... Oh my goodness. Look at Hogwarts, dude. This must be where the Pinch Smedley family astrolabe is. Okay. It's over here. All right, perfect. Search. Ooh. We found it. I should let Grace know that I found her family astrolabe. I love Lumos. It's so simple. Find the dive too terribly difficult. Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible! Did you find the astrolabe? Damn, and it's yours for a price. <laughs> I did it, I'm keeping it. I did. I Is hope it... it makes your father happy. It will. I can't wait to see his face. Thank you so much for doing this for me. And for my family. You do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your caliber is certain to find all sorts of things down there. Thank you again. And Lumos. I do hope you keep diving. You certainly have a knack for finding treasure. The mermaid mask. That's nice. Alright, we are back up top. Within the walls of the castle. Oof. Back up here. Rebellion. I think I saw something. Another key. Accio. And another page. Rebellion. What quest is this? Hmm. What quest that is? Uh, you there? Uh, yes, you. I wonder if you might uh, come with me for a moment. Yes, one second. Man, what side quest is that? Interesting. You want to see me, sir? Yes, Sir Nicholas de Mimsy Porpington, <laughs> at your service. Nice to meet you, Sir Nicholas. I know about the book you found and its missing pages. I may be able to help. Follow me, if you will. It's not too far. Okay. Wait. How do you know about the book? And that it's missing pages? Word gets around amongst the ghosts. You were spotted with Mr. Sallow in the restricted section. Don't worry. Your secret's safe with me. Must be nice not to walk, you know, just... This follow. may be a leap. But I believe I know who ended up with those pages. I'd be happy to take you to him, if you'd be so kind as to perform a small favor for me along the way. Hmm. What could that be? Hmm. 
small favor in exchange for getting those pages. Yes, it's, it's nothing really. I'd be grateful if you could simply go into the kitchen and procure a little rotten roast beef. I beg your pardon. Roast beef. Rotten roast beef. That is correct. Rotten roast beef. If one floats through it just right, one can almost taste it. Mm. Ugh. I suppose I can do that. But why me? It's simple, my young friend. My ghostly form cannot carry it. Well, clearly. Let's see, what do we have down here? Another chest. I'll pick that now, up. If you'd be so kind as to collect the roast beef, I shall explain everything else in due course. Revelio. Alright, let's see. Um. Okay, is it in here somewhere? Keep following you? Okay, I'll keep following ah, you. Oh. Here we are. Tickle the pear and head on in. That's Did what it you said. Say tickle the pear. Yes, in the painting. I'll wait right here. Uh, do try not to get in the way of the house. Revelio. That's what it said when I'm I picked up the page. Sweet aroma of rotten roast. To enter the Hufflepuff common room, one must tap the barrel too from the bottom middle of the second row. Let me tickle the pear. In the kitchen. Never will understand what could be what? Well, hello there, I'm fellas. A bit peckish, likely. You know how hungry mm. grow certainly you. make Revelio. I am starving. All of a sudden. It smells glorious in here. When the house elves place prepared food on these tables, it magically transfers to the tables in the great hall directly above. That is cool. Now you can explore this area. That's awesome. Hmm. It's some beef, but it's not rotten. Let's keep looking. Is there like a trash here somewhere? Another wand. Accessory. Revelio. Ugh, there's a disgusting smell. I must be getting close. Oh, a student? What a treat! What can Finky get for you? A pumpkin pasty? Perhaps some Welsh rabbit? Sounds lovely, but what I really need is this rotten roast beef. Ah, Mick sent you, <laughs> didn't he? Please help yourself. Think he supposes Nick's tired of loitering about simply to experience the faintest memory of the taste of food. Do you and the other house elves conjure the food served in the Great Hall? Goodness, no. Not even house elves can conjure food out of thin air. Food is one of the five principal exceptions to Gantt's law of elemental transfiguration. We can, however, multiply it, transform it, and of course, prepare it. Then we send it straight up to the Great Hall. Are there any restrictions as to what you can make here? Think he supposes not. However, think he has had the best luck with the many recipes left by Helga Hufflepuff. Her quince pie has always been a favourite, but the new fangled Arbro Smokies are becoming popular as well. Is it alright for students to wander into the kitchens? Well, since you asked, students aren't supposed to be in the kitchens but Finky doesn't mind. There's nothing that lifts Finky's spirits more than the company of students. We so rarely get visitors, and we have plenty of treats. Come back any time you please. It was nice to meet you. Thank you for the beef. How 
happy to help and to meet you as well. Please give Nick Finky's regards. Rebellion. Okay, what else we got here? I knew all of this was going on right beneath our feet. Exactly my point. Super cool. All right, Nick, I got the roast beef. What you got? Ah, you're back. No trouble, I take it? Not at all. Fienke sends her regards, along with the rotten roast beef. Ah, glad to hear it. Kind out for Fienke. Now, let's get that beef to Sir Patrick Delaney Podmore, and you'll be one step closer to finding those pages. This is all rather cryptic, Sir Nicholas. What's going on? Terribly sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> Sir Patrick organizes the Headless Hunt, a group of headless ghosts who gather for various, uh, headless activities. Headless activities? Uh, yes, uh, you'll see. Anyway, I don't know how, but a member of that hunt, Richard Jackdaw, had the pages when he was alive. My plan is to take the rotten roast beef to Sir Patrick so that he'll allow me, uh, us, to engage with the hunt and speak to Jackdaw. Uh, shall we? I thought the rotten roast beef was for you. It is, uh, in a way. You see, I've been trying to gain access to the hunt for quite some time. Offering the beef to Sir Patrick may help me in that regard. One, of course, also helping you. Hmm. Is the Headless Hunt dangerous? Oh, the Headless Hunt wouldn't hurt a fly, let alone a student. Just a group of fun-loving Headless Ghosts. Very well. I'd like to meet Sir Patrick myself and see this Headless Hunt. Ah, wonderful. You won't regret it. Hmm. What is going on? A little sketchy. A fine night for revelry. <laughs> oh my god. Do stay behind me. It's Sir Patrick we want. Oi, Nesta, look who's here. What have we told you, nearly headless Nick? Hello, Sir Ramsay. Do let us pass. We've brought a little something for Sir Patrick. Probably come to try to beg his way in again. <laughs> 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 they always talk to you like that. Ah, all in good fun. But once Sir Patrick lets me join the Headless Hunt, I'll be right there with them. This offering is sure to win him over. Oh, uh, don't forget why I'm here, sir. Rest assured, you'll have your information <laughs> from young Jackdaw in no time. Wherever he may be. What I'd give for a flagon of mead or a nice leg of lamb right about now. Then this party would be complete. How about the next best thing, Sir Patrick? Ah, Sir Nicholas. And a student. Who let you in? Eh, uh, we brought you a gift. This is all very suspicious. What do you really want? As if I need to ask. Um, <laughs> it, it's Richard Jackdaw. Uh, where can we find him? Uh, may we speak to him? Jackdaw, eh? Why? Here he is now. What a shame. Without his head. I bet you've always wondered what that's like, eh, Nick? <laughs> <laughs> Sir, you jazz. <sighs> it's bound to be around here somewhere. Probably being used in a game. If you find it, I give you my permission to speak with him, my young mortal. <laughs> it's the least I can do for you for bringing this putrescent gift home. Uh, sir, there's another matter I wish to discuss with you, if I may. Tut-tut, Sir Nicholas. How many times do I have to tell you? Our entry requirements are quite clear. <laughs> but, sir, I... Uh, we aren't the headless except for a little bit of tendon hunt, after all. Now, please, follow me and I shall help you find your way out. Jeez. All right. Farewell, my young friend. Perhaps your luck with these chaps will be better than mine.
Okay. Over a bridge with two... Hmm, a map. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. That's completely different. That's like a treasure hunt. Alright, let's go this way. Who will be next to play our little game of hide and seek amongst the pumpkins? That'll be the bridge right there. Revelio. Probably not right now. Let's just let's do this. Hello again. Can you help me? Ah, Saint Nicholas's young friend. Has he abandoned you? Not at all. I need to speak to Richard Jackdaw. Sir Patrick said his head might be around here somewhere. Indeed, it might be. Hmm. It is a bit unorthodox to include a mortal, but if you do wish to speak with him, oh, why not? You can speak with Jackdaw if you can find his head amongst these pumpkins. Not just once, but five times. Good old Dumfrey will move the head to a different spot each time you find it. Those are the rules. What say you? Let's do this. If that's what I need to do to speak to Jackdaw, I'll do it. Marvellous! Of course, a mortal holding a wand has an advantage over us ghosts. You can simply blast away to your heart's content. Remember, the game's not over until you find him five times. Rebellion. Begin! Cast away until you... I could do that too if I had a wand. And a body. Discovered already! <laughs> Looks like we need to find another pumpkin to hide it, eh, Jackdaw? Whatever you say, Dumfrey. This is not my finest moment. Destroy the pumpkins to find the head. Well, that's going to be interesting. What about this Here one? Here we go again. Oh, whoa! Hold on. Revelio. Revelio. Read the blue one, right? Hmm. Rebellion. There's a bunch more here. Who would have thought a mortal would be so good at this? Oh, Why did I come back? <laughs> yeah, it's literally just the blue one. They just keep growing. I feel like I'm going crazy. I've destroyed some of these. There's the next one. Oh, it's a cross. Or is it not? Oh, yeah, they keep yeah they keep is growing. Are we still going? This is easy, man. I am too overpowered with my magic abilities. All right, let's keep going back here. Never seen it played like this. How and there's the last one. Akio. Ooh, really? Jeez. Congratulations are in order. Not too bad for a mortal. Now, say what you need to say to old Jack Door here, hmm? You've earned it. Nicely done. But what's going on? You're not a member of the Headless Hunt. No, I'm not. Sir Nicholas said you might know the location of some pages I'm looking for. Merlin's beard. I know precisely the ones you mean. I pinched them from Peeves. How could I forget? The map on those pages led me to my demise. Mm. I was not ready for what awaited me in that cave. The pages are likely still mouldering away with my, uh, uh, remains. Quite a final adventure, I must confess. The pages are why you lost your head, and I must visit a cave and search for your corpse. Yes. <sighs> You'd think a decapitated ghost would get used to the word corpse. Say, here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll show you where to go. Ah, uh, this is getting good. What will I find in the cave? Aside from my mortal remains, if I remember correctly, some treasures, a magical bridge. But what kind of an adventure would it be if I spoiled the surprises for you? Did someone in the cave cut off your head? I was having a look around when I mm. suddenly sensed a refreshing breeze. 
After which I felt, well, light-headed. That's all I remember. Hence, when you visit, be prepared. I can't tell you what for, specifically, but you seem a perceptive sort. Beware a light breeze. How is it possible to steal from Peeves, a poltergeist? I didn't steal the pages from his ghostly form. I merely found them in his wake of destruction. He has a penchant for wrecking things. Books, bottles, suits of armor. Whatever's likely to cause the most chaos. I found them after he ran riot through the library. Doubt he even noticed they were gone. I need those pages, so I suppose I'd better meet you. Thank you. Not to worry. I'll just need to be reunited with my body first. But Dumfrey can handle that. See you at the forest's edge. This is... okay. Off to the forbidden forest we go? Who would have thought? A mere mortal on his fifth year going to the forbidden forest. A night for revelry. Before we get to do this quest and head over to the forbidden forest, we need to get this spell, right? Which is basically the disarming spell. So in order to do that, we've got to learn it. And so we can only do that during the daytime. It's nighttime right now. So if we go here to the map, we can actually press R3 and we can wait. And now it's going to become daytime, which is super cool. There we go. A little meditation for you. So it begins. This is going to be cool. Take care of everything I had asked you to do. Yes. Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Pay close attention. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter. Spellcasting requires a focused mind and a steady wand. Perfect. Perfection. Good work. The dummy is here if you wish to stay in practice. Professor, do you have a moment? I do. What is it? Hmm. I wondered, did you attend Hogwarts? I did. I am a proud member of Ravenclaw House. Why do you ask? I was curious as to how Hogwarts has changed over the years. I see. Well, the castle itself, as I'm sure you have surmised, is full of surprises. I dare say more than the staircases change around here. Mm -hmm. As for the students, well, they seem to get more capable every year. Although, we got up to just as much mischief in my day as you seem to now. I used to look the other way at all sorts of roguery when I was head girl. I can tell you, however, that I did once admonish a certain Phineas Nigella's flag for enjoying a sugar quill during a lecture. Uh, I, I hadn't realized that you and Professor Black were, uh, students here together. <laughs> Appearances can be deceiving. You see, I was once wounded by time itself. Hmm. Time itself? I never would have imagined such a thing. Ah, well, it was the risk I took with my prior position. How you may or may not have heard that I was an unspeakable at the Ministry for years. An unspeakable? What does... Ah! As you might suspect, I cannot speak about what we did. Suffice it to say, the job was not without its hazards. Now, I hope I've satisfied your curiosity for the moment. You have. Thank you for speaking with me, Professor. Keep up with your wand work. One must always be prepared for mischief, both inside and outside of the castle. 
wanted to make sure I wasn't rude enough to her about her age and whatnot. So, yeah. All right. Assign new spells. Here we go. Expelliarmus. You seem to have the right end of the stick, but keep practicing. Expelliarmus may save your life one day. We are approaching officially the Forbidden Forest. Oh, dude. This is going to be awesome. Here we go. Let's do this. Oh my gosh. Dare I say again, notice how we... Ooh. Notice how we still haven't... We'll leave that for later just in case. How we still haven't unlocked the broomsticks or any sort of traversal equipment. This is nuts. Let's go. We have arrived. Here Ooh. I am, as good as my word. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. Just like a Gryffindor to brave the Forbidden Forest in pursuit of adventure. Well said. Now where do we go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Keep your eyes open for a birdbath. When you find it, say Intramuros. I think it's Latin. Or Greek. As you can imagine, I never paid much attention in school. Shall we? Aside from the bird bath, anything else I should look for? Indeed. A few landmarks, a stone bridge, a Rebellion. waterfall, and, if I recall, a lake. You'll see. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Oh, this is pretty spooky. Surprising how much of this is rather unfortunately coming back to me. Oh, nice. we got a fast hmm. travel right yes. here. You know, the closer we get, the more I'm remembering. Probably best I leave you to it. Simply stick to the path and keep a sharp eye out for that bird bath. Adieu. Is that Latin? Or Greek? Hmm. All right, dude. Well, well, catch you on the flip side. Off to the forbidden forest I go by myself. Totally not scared. You've got Nothing this. Nothing to do now, but keep going. Got this totally under control. Should probably use my little wand, Lumos. But honestly, ooh, this looks beautiful. Whoa. Okay, we're gonna go this way. The waterfall. For a thief, Jack was surprisingly as good as his word. That's the waterfall. We'll keep following our trail this way. Oh my god. We are on the right path. Don't want to encounter any creatures as of right now. I'm trying to survive. This is awesome, dude. Everything is just like the movies. Something oddly solemn about this place. Such regal creatures, Stags. Revelio. I think we're on the right track, guys. Another fast travel right here. There it is. Just as Jackdaw described. Uh oh. Intramuros. Oh, oh, it's opening. It's working. It worked. Yeah, this is pretty. Aren't you a little far from home? Renrock knew you'd eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. Really? Oh my gosh. Okay, these guys came to play. And came a little dirty, they did. Ugh. I got some pretty slick moves myself, boys. Yes. Heck yeah. Let's go. That's all you got. You guys are pathetic. 
no risk those loyalists will report back to Ranrock now. Hmm, your slots are Jack Doors led me. Yeah. Here we go. Let's go to the tomb. Dude, I'm excited. Let's go. Ooh, spooky, spooky, spooky. I wonder how big this place is. I guess we're about to find out, man. Revelio. Revelio. Let me get some of that. Incendio. Incendio. Beautiful. I can shoot the symbol, but it doesn't stay lit for long. even know what to say this is awesome the lore behind this right now is so well done like if you are a hardcore oh, fan casual visitors down there of this universe of potter and friends I wonder if any of my spells will help me you're gonna love there's no way you don't love this harry potter fans are gonna be geeked out about this 100 percent oh god <laughs> Fighting uh, spiders and such. The weakness should be fire. Right? Yes. Parries are incredible right now. Come here. I'm not gonna get away with that. Shut up! Revelio. Oh, what in the world is this? Boy, that's not good. Incendio. Okay. Are we supposed to go? All right, we're supposed to go over there. Let's go in here. This is most definitely going to be a boss, or sort of mini boss, without a doubt. I'm telling you right now, bro. I know my stuff, I'm telling you. They're coming. Ooh. What was that? I don't even know what I just did. But it was cool. Incendio. Oh, that parry is clutch. There's somebody shooting me with something from above. Get out of town with that garbage. Something really good must be in that chest. I mean, my goodness. Spider fangs. All right, so I'm not going to be able to see what's in it. We're going to get it, and we'll check it out later because I'm full on everything. So, unfortunately, yeah, we got to go to a, a vendor and then see what it what it's got inside because I'm, I'm super curious as to what that could have been because that's awesome there, there, there's got to be something awesome in that chest just because of what we just had to go th through to unlock it or access it okay that's awesome really interesting over there what's that back there I wonder if I can move that platform somehow. Well, oh, these spiders. Oh my gosh. Hey, if you have something against spiders, you're not gonna like this section of the game. <laughs> Pretty creepy. An untouched chest. Tactor wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. Not anymore. Akio! Just like that. 
Easy peasy. Oh, wow. Not a headless skeleton in sight. Hmm. But I may as well help myself to this. Let me see if I can grab this now. I, I just... The golden snitch scarf. Uh, this is a scarf we just unlocked right now. 23. Yeah, we're going to rock this. Just going to go ahead and change the aesthetics back to the baby blue one. It's better for us. Look, this is one of the ones we just probably got. Yep. Yeah. That's brand new. That wasn't there before. I know that for a fact. That was not there before. A lot of it could have been a, um, appearance as well. So that's new as well. Let me also. Akio, incendio. That's right, baby. Let's go. Protego. Yes. Oh my gosh. All right. So what do we got? Revelio. Oh, you don't have to do incendio. Oh my god. Just. Just gotta hit it. Well, that would have been much easier if I knew that prior. You're breaking my head over it. That was simple, man. I saw the flame emblem. I'm like, okay, we gotta hit it with corresponding spell. I was sadly mistaken. We got the baby spiders on the deck. Alright, where do we go now? What just happened? Is it this way? Why do I feel like I'm going the wrong way? Hold on, there was a path up there. So they're they're actually rewarding us for exploring, which I really like. I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? Uh, we're here. It's a good thing Jackdaw didn't fall down there. Oof. Akio. see what we have here this is crazy an untouched chest with Jack some wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave uh, uh, please do not fall right now please take me over there i want to get out of here you guys are I think you're gonna take me down. Listen, I am I am a special sort of student, okay? I can feel it in my bones. I see magic that most people don't see. Oh! Here, take this. That's my favorite move. My special move. I like them all, but that one was pretty cool. Go ahead and grab this chest here. Some more Not a moolah. headless skeleton in sight. Hmm, but I may as well help myself to this. I feel like we're gonna get a boss or something before getting the pages. It's like, uh, it's almost impossible for that not to happen. Should we be exploring here? This is inviting exploration. A lot of it. Oh, 
shield. Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? Ooh, more potions. Maybe down this path. This is definitely it. Okay. There it is. The bridge, it's almost complete. More spiders. These can't be. Tell me, these spiders are relentless, man. I did not expect to be battling so many spiders today. Oh my god! Is that it? Yes. This is really good for XP and whatnot. Oh god. Is that mom and dad over there? This just doesn't look good. See you later, loser Jack monsters. Pretty nice. Alright. Grab all this. I don't know what we're going to be able to do with the spider fangs, but... I suppose it might be something, uh... Rather important. An untouched chest. Jackdaw wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. Okay, what do we have here? I need to look around for the symbol. Are we missing another symbol or something? Revelio. Yeah, because I know there's this one, but how do we hit this one and and then these two? Alright, I got an idea. We're gonna go back over here. And I think this is it. That's gotta be the final step. There it goes. Beautifully built. That smells like trouble over there. That smells like trouble. Oh yeah, those are those guardians. Must be getting closer to Jackdaw's remains and those pages. Ooh, yes. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. 
Here. Thank you for keeping these pages safe all these years. Oh my god. Here it is. The map that brought your doom, Jackdaw. Hmm. Is there something beyond this room? Bro, my gear is... It's full. Accio. It should be easy peasy. Accio. Protego. Stupid. That's right. Expelliarmus. Oh, look at that. I took their freaking axe away. Oh my gosh, that is insanely OP right now. Get out of there. Ooh, you thought, sucker! Oh my goodness. Oh, too far. My bad. That was, that was my fault. Three henchmen here, or what? What is this? The big boys? Three final bosses? Bring it on, punk! Oh, wow, it works on him, too. Oh, you ain't that. Oh, okay, we well, can summon this real quick. You ain't that bad! Hiya! <laughs> next! Who's next? Oh, I should have I waited. That was a little scary. Well, probably out of retreat a little bit. Incendio. Yeah, just stop. Stop for a second here, bud. Stop for a sec. Incendio. Nice. Investigate the traces of ancient magic. What? That's unnerving. What's happening? Hold on. Rebellion. That poor kid. That's where he died. Oh, in Gringotts and the restricted section. Bro, there's so much going on. Wow. My goodness. Where am I? Oh no. The room's starting to flood. How am I being protected? What sort of magic is this? Whoa! I can only hope this magic protects me until I'm able to make my way out of here. Uh, okay. It's open. Good. What that is this so place? Cool. Oh my god, what the hell? Can it be? Dude, no way. It's you. Has someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention. And might I presume you share our... Ability. 
to see traces of ancient magic. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir, I do. As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. We can access expressions of magic that few others can. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not squander them. I won't, Professor. Thank you. We have much to discuss. But first, a map found in a certain book led you here. Place the book on the pedestal. I don't have the book with me, sir. Hmm. That is unfortunate. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. I'm a bit confused, sir. Why is this room called the map chamber? I assure you that all will be clear once the book has been placed on the pedestal. Hmm. The statues and carvings in the house on the cliffside, those are of you. Are you a seer? I am. Did you know that I would be here? I cannot say more at present, except to say that your presence here does not entirely surprise me. Very well. I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. We shall speak again once the book is in place. Your connection to ancient magic has unlocked talents plus one. You will receive one talent point each time you increase your wizarding level. You have new talent points to spend in the talents menu of field guide. Oh my god. You've earned talent points. Starting at level 5, you may spend these talent points as you wish to enhance your spells to increase your combat power, stealth, and more. Choose wisely. Talent points may only be spent once. Improve your spell casting. Increase your abilities with the dark arts. I mean, I don't want to be evil. But hey, that might not be too bad. Overall effectiveness. Stealth. Let me know down below. What do you guys think? We're going to go for core now just to have a basic. Hold on. What in the world? No way. Dude, now, like hours in is when we're starting to see all these different types of... Hold R2... And tap in any direction to swap and unlock spell set. Yeah, that's actually very important. Holy smokes, man. Dealing damage to a cursed target inflicts damage to all cursed targets. Stupefy has the same effect as a curse on enemies. Cursed enemies take increased damage. That is crazy, dude. Enemies are near target level. Oh, so now these is for like your spells to perform better. Whoa. Oh my gosh. All right, we're going to start off with the basic. This actually allows us to have more, see more shortcuts for spells. I'm going to do that because I need that. I really need that. Throw catches and throw disarmed enemy weapons. Okay. I will acquire that. This will give us more health. Good. And then we're going to do a little bit of this. Um, yeah, I like this. And you know what? It doesn't hurt to do a little bit of dark magic. Dark magic of the dark arts. <laughs> Yeah, well, wait, what is this one? Hmm. Yeah, we'll do one. We'll do one of these. Ah, eh, we'll do two of these. Why not? All right. I like that. Oh, this is getting really, really good now. See, so I can hold R2 now. And we've got another slot, you see? Perfect. So we can do Lumos. Well, we had it. We can do... And then we can do Reparo here. And I think we're good for now. Yeah, so we have that on the other slot. Perfect. This is my main slot. 
Oh man. Revelio. Yeah, this has been pretty incredible, dare I say. Pretty freaking incredible. What a quest. What an insane quest that was. I found the pages and the map chamber. Why would I need the book? Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Wow. Alright, we're going up here. I don't even know what part of the castle we're in. Or where we're going to come out through. Ooh, can I open that chest over there? Please tell me I can. I cannot. Rebellion. Right. That would have been nice. Just saying. Incendio. Whoa, what was that? Rebellion. Did you see the incendio? How much powerful it was? Uh, how much more powerful it was now? That was awesome. I'm back at Hogwarts. I wonder when Professor Fig will be back. I, I did feeling. promise him I wouldn't neglect my studies. Anyway, suppose I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with the book. Accio. That's right. We have completed the quest. And we now have another talent point, which we get every single time we level up, which is going to be awesome. What a sensational. You need to learn De Pulso, the banishing charm. Useful for pushing objects or adversaries away. Complete the required tasks and meet me in my classroom. You got it. All right, guys. So that's going to wrap up this video. This has been an incredible episode. So much happened. I was not expecting so many things to happen, but this was this was pretty, pretty awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. I truly hope you guys enjoyed this one. A massive thank you to WB Games for sponsoring the video. Really, really appreciate it. If you guys want to know more about Hogwarts Legacy and are possibly thinking about getting it for yourselves, I'll have a link down in the description. You guys can feel free to check that out and uh, take it from there. So thank you so much again. Keep it locked here to the channel. We will be back and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one.